Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the anatomy of the ear. We're going to talk briefly about the human ear and the three divisions that it has, the inner, middle and outer ear, and then we'll look at those divisions in more detail and the parts of them. Uh, so firstly, quite obviously, the ear is the way that we hear things, we detect sound, and it is divided into three parts. We have the outer ear, which is the part on the outside of your head, the middle ear, and the inner ear, which is the cochlear and semicircular canals. I'll now go through each one of these in a bit more detail and talk about the parts that are contained in it. So firstly, the outer ear. This is the part of the ear on the outside of your head uh, and is what is usually referred to as the ear. Uh, however, it has a couple of different parts. We have the pinna being the large part on the outside uh, that works a bit like a uh, funnel to amplify and focus sound waves uh, from away from the body into the ear canal. We then have the ear canal or the hole that you can see on the outside of your ear and the sound after being focused into it travels down that to the tympanic membrane. And the important thing here is now that sound wave is actually inside your skull. Once we get to the tympanic membrane or the eardrum, uh, comes to the end of the The tympanic membrane or eardrum becomes the end of the outer ear or the threshold between the outer and the middle ear. Uh, the sound wave, being the vibrations in the air, causes that membrane to vibrate. And it also provides the function of being a physical barrier between the outside world and the inside of your ear. So it should stop uh, things from getting into your ear uh, as well as stop uh, infection and things like that. Once we get to the other side of the tympanic brain membrane, we are in the middle ear. And the main part of the middle ear are the ossicles. Now these are three small bones. In fact, they're the smallest bones in the human body, uh, consisting of the malleus, which is up against the tympanic membrane, the incus, and the stapes. Now the way that I remember these is I write MI and instead of S, I write five. Uh, when I'm remembering it, and I think MI5, and they have their ears everywhere. Uh, and you can see that that stapes is pressed up against the oval window, uh, and we'll talk a bit more about what the oval window is a bit later on. Uh, but firstly, the job of the ossicles is to transform that uh, wave, that auditory energy, or acoustic energy, into kinetic energy or moving energy. And the way that they do this is by, again, being up against that uh, tympanic membrane or eardrum that causes the malleus to start vibrating. And then the incus works like a big lever and mechanically amplifies the sound. Finally, the stapes at the other end of the incus vibrates the oval window of the cochlea and keeps that uh, energy moving into the ear. Another part of the middle ear is the eustachian tube. And the eustachian tube is a canal that runs from the middle ear into the nasal cavity. And its job is to ensure that the air pressure in the middle ear is the same as the air pressure outside the body, uh, and in particular in the outer ear. This means that the tympanic membrane is able to vibrate freely uh, and not be dampened. Uh, by the change in pressure in the middle ear. And is also why when you get a cold, uh, you have trouble hearing uh, because that eustachian tube gets blocked and therefore you can't equalize that pressure. Uh, once we get to the oval window, uh, we move from the middle ear into the inner ear. And as I said, the stapes rests against the oval window, uh, which is a small, thin section of the cochlea. And this vibration of the stapes vibrates that oval window and causes the fluid of the cochlea to move. So we end up getting waves of pressure in the cochlea now. Uh, so the cochlea, that's a spiral shaped organ. And in fact, the word cochlea actually comes from spiral or snail. Um, and it has fluid 
running through a couple of ducts that run the center of that um, spiral. And in particular, in the center of that spiral is a section called the organ of corti. The type of sound wave is going to influence how that fluid inside the cochlea uh, moves and therefore how it's picked up as sound. Uh, so a loud uh, wave or a high volume or amplitude wave uh, is going to move the fluid more vigorously as well as the different frequencies are going to depend on how far it penetrates into that spiral. And the lower the frequency, the further it penetrates into the spiral. We then have the organ of Corti, uh, and it's got uh, there's some sensors that run the length of that duct, and depending on how far it penetrates into the spiral, uh, changes the different impulses that are sent down the auditory nerve to the brain. Another part of the inner ear is the semicircular canals and they sit above the cochlea and there are three canals that are again filled with fluid and this fluid is affected by gravity and detects movement of the head as well as your position relative to the ground. And this is important in managing balance. Uh, so as you move your head around that fluid uh, gives you the feeling of which way is up and keeps your balance. Uh, so to summarize, we have the pinna on the outside of the ear. It focuses the sound wave into the auditory canal, uh, which ends up in the tympanic membrane or eardrum. We then move into the middle ear, which has the malleus incus and stapes, the three small bones in the ear. They uh, amplify the sound, pushing on the oval window of the cochlea. Also in the middle ear, we have the eustachian tube, which maintains pressure. Uh, in the cochlea, we have fluid that travels around the spiral, and the vibration from the malleus depends on, and the, and the uh, sound wave that's produced it depends on how far it's going to get into that cochlea and inside the cochlea the organ of corti produces an electrochemical impulse that carries down the auditory nerve. And we then have the semicircular canals at the top uh, which control your balance. In this video we've looked at the ear, the way that we detect sound from the outside world. Uh, and the three divisions of the ear, the outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.